that highly contagious variant of COVID already here in the U.S. Current vaccines at this point still thought to be effective at neutralizing this variant. And that new strain of the virus that's far easier to catch has now been found in a third state. You can see the explosive transmission in the UK as well as South Africa that corresponds to when those variants began circulating broadly in the countries. The COVID-19 uh, variant from the UK and the one from South Africa are transmitted in the same way that the COVID-19 virus has been transmitted up till now, principally through large droplets and smaller respiratory droplets. There are some mutations that are occurring, one in particular near the spike protein where it binds to the cell. And so the idea would be that perhaps these are taken up more effectively, these viruses, and therefore you get larger amounts of virus and more transmissibility. People infected with this virus do not appear to have more serious disease or more mortality from the virus. The evidence so far suggests that the vaccines will work against these new strains or variants that we're seeing right now. This is an area where scientists are keeping a very close eye to make sure that these variants don't escape from vaccination. It's really important to remember that we expect viruses to mutate. All viruses mutate. This is the patterns that we've seen over time with all viruses and also with COVID-19. Our public health tools are now really critical. In other words, we really have to do these things to keep these variants at bay while we expedite our vaccine distribution so that we can protect people.